So in this video, we shall take a look uh, between the Oracle versus RDS commands and how you can actually execute the uh, normal DBA uh, commands in RDS environment. So right now I'm connected to my RDS database uh, on Oracle, which is TestORCL. And if I have to give something like an alter system flush uh, share underscore pool, if I say alter system, say flush shared underscore pool, you'll say it says insufficient privileges. I can't really uh, execute it. So all I need to do is I need to execute a procedure, which is execute or, okay, so I have to say execute RDS admin dot RDS admin, as we saw previously. So you have to call the RDS admin user. In that you have RDS admin underscore util package. And in that I call the procedure flush shared underscore pool okay so that's the command to flush your shared pool and similarly if I have to flush the buffer cache I would do something like would execute RDS admin dot RDS admin util very similar to the previous one and I'll just simply say flush buffer underscore cache Nice one, so that uh, gets executed. Now there's another command which a lot of DBAs use on a day-to-day -day basis, which is alter system checkpoint. Let's say if we need to checkpoint all the data files uh, so that uh, they are in sync uh, with the control file, I normally just use alter system checkpoint. Again, we get an insufficient privileges. So what's the replica for that? For that we have similarly, RDS admin, RDS admin util dot, and I simply say checkpoint does the same thing what uh, the older system checkpoint would have done. Another uh, command older system switch log file. Normally when you create a data card environment and you just want to uh, like switch some logs on your production or you want to just see uh, by switching logs on production that everything is working fine and you tail the alert log. Uh, so you use something like, again, we, we, we are not able to do it. So the replica for us is RDS admin dot RDS admin util dot and we simply say switch underscore log file. Okay, so I say archive log list. Again, we don't have. So yeah, uh, all I wanted to show you is that these are the different commands. So uh, if, you, if you actually look at uh, the standard, the standard is that you have to use, make use of RDS admin user in that you have the RDS admin underscore util package and based on whatever requirement you have, you can just simply call a specific procedure like flush shared pool, flush buffer cache, say checkpoint or switch log file. Thanks for watching guys.